right over here coming around the cerebral peduncles. You can hardly see them, but you have the trochlear nerves. The trochlear nerves originate from the uh, midbrain uh, right behind the inferior colliculi and they come around to the inferior side or the anterior side and uh, th again you can only see a little bit of them over here and over here we'll probably get a better view of them from a different angle. Trigeminal nerves you can see right over here on either side of the pons the trigeminal nerves are Roman numeral number five and these are fairly large nerves that are going to be innervating the face and the head and also include motor nerves to the muscles of uh, mastication. Right over here at the boundary between the pons and the medulla you can see the facial nerve. The facial nerve is Roman numeral number seven. So next to the facial nerve right over here and right over here you can see two nerves they appear to be two nerves but they represent the vestibulocochlear nerve so the vestibulocochlear nerve has two parts one associated with the vestibular apparatus the other associated with the cochlea and together they form the vestibulocochlear nerve the roman numeral number eight right over here on the anterior side of the medulla oblongata we have what are referred to as the pyramids. The, what they have are motor neurons that are descending down to the spinal cord carrying uh, motor commands. Right over here we have cranial nerve Roman numeral number nine I'll right over here Th that is the glossopharyngeal nerve. Right. Behind it, we have the vagus nerve, which is Roman numeral number 10. That's located right, right over here. And then right behind the vagus nerve, you have the accessory nerve, which is cranial nerve Roman numeral number 11. And it is right over here, right over here, on either side of the pyramids, you'll find the hypoglossal nerve, which is cranial nerve Roman numeral number 12. This is the olive. It's called the olive because the way it bulges in an oblong fashion reminded the anatomist of an olive.